Oh shit, here we go again. Good day and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the top 5 best visualization software for architects. This includes both practicing architects and student architects aspiring to be architects. So in this video, we are going to be judging the ranking based on 4 criteria. We are going to be talking about the output quality, which talks about the photorealistic quality of the render or the animation or whatever. Then we are going to be talking about the user interface. The user interface talks about the usability of the software and how the software build up is like a accommodating an average user to be able to learn it quickly. In the third aspect, we are going to be talking about the time-saving ability. And the time-saving ability talks about how fast the software can actually yield a result from the tax given to it. In terms of the last one, we are going to be talking about the pricing. And the pricing talks about how cheap or how expensive the software is. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the ranking. In coming in at number 5, we start from Chaos V-Ray. Chaos V-Ray is very popular among us architects and is very is a very useful software. It brings one of the best image quality in the architecture industry or the visualization industry. So in terms of output quality, it has a solid 10 over 10. Then, but unfortunately, the interface is very cumbersome and is difficult for the average person to learn. Or rather, it takes more time for an average person to learn and master the interface. So in terms of user interface, it has a very poor rating of 3 over 10. Then in terms of time saving, V-Ray actually, the time saving kind of tags along with the user interface. Because V-Ray, the user interface is cumbersome, making it um, take a longer time to actually yield a very realistic render. So it comes in at a low 4 over 10 in terms of the time saving ability. In terms of the price, V-Ray is not too expensive. It's actually cost 418 euros every year for the subscription. So it comes in at a solid 7 over 10 in terms of the price, giving it a sum total of 60% over 100. Okay, then to the next ranking, coming in at number 4, we have K another Chaos product, Chaos Corona. Chaos Corona is very popular too. It's like everybody running away from D5 is now, or running away from V-Ray, sorry, is now running to Corona because of, it's actually like a V-Ray that is easier to use. So in terms of output quality, Corona comes very close to V-Ray. I'm supposed to give Corona 10 over 10 in terms of output quality, but I've, it's just that compared to the best renders i've seen from v-ray and the best renders i've seen from corona i actually prefer the ones coming from v-ray so corona has a solid 9.5 in terms of output quality in terms of user interface corona as i said earlier is like the modification of v-ray to be able for users to be able to be more comfortable with the whole interface so corona has an improved user interface of 6 over 10. then in terms of time saving um, Corona actually saves more time than compared to using V-Ray. People using V-Ray will also testify this. Like Corona saves a lot of time and they can use it to get interior renders faster than the way they will get it in V-Ray. So they have a solid 5 over 10 in terms of time saving. In terms of the price, Corona is actually even cheaper than V-Ray at 322 euros annually for the custom or standard um, subscription so giving corona a solid rating of 8.5 in terms of the pricing then overall total of 72.5 percent over 100 so coming in at number three we have everybody's favorite lumion lumion is actually a very is actually meant to even be higher on this ranking but they actually have a quirk somewhere and we'll get into it in terms of output quality I'll have given Lumion 7 over 10, but due to the in recent time, they have actually inculcated real time or sorry, ray tracing render engine into their um, product. So they are supposed to have a better rendering by that. So because of benefit of doubt, I'll just give them 8 over 10 in terms of the output quality. In terms of user interface, Lumion is one of the simplest visualization software to use. I've actually taught people Lumion in just two hours. They can grab the basic of Lumion. So it has a solid 9 over 10 in terms of user interface. So in terms of time saving, Lumion actually has a very good time saving because the user interface works in tandem with the time saving at 9.5 rating. So it's very easy to use Lumion. People like Lumion, you can actually, when I'm choking, I can actually use Lumion to actually cover up the work I'm choking on in just a few times. If I have a school project I'm choking on and I want to cover it on in two hours, I can use Lumion and do it. Even though it's part of the reason is due to my mastery in the software, but overall, I'll say for an average person, it's far much easier to use but this is now where lumion comes their own problem comes in lumion is for the rich 
let be poor breathe don't suffocate them like lumion don't used to allow the poor to breathe like it's too expensive how will lumion be saying that their software is 1299 euros every year for someone to be paid and yet their other rivals are doing it far cheaper so i think their price is too high and it's you could even some people might even say ridiculous but of course it's not my business it's not my software so i'm just giving you my own opinion and for that i'll give lumion a rating of 4 over 10 in pricing giving them a sum total of 76.25 percent overall imagine how they will have how how many percent they will have had if they didn't have this pricing issue just imagine that so in terms of rank number two this one is a bit controversial consider my own stand is d5 render <laughs> i know a lot of people must have expected d5 to be number one but i in this video i'm not going to be subjective i'm going to be as objective as possible so in terms of output quality d5 has 8.5 over 10. okay i will have given d5 9 but i just said let me be as objective as possible because the people that can actually achieve the most realistic renders in d5 are actually the experts in it so an average person will not achieve that kind of super realistic photo realistic render in d5 easily so i have to give them 8.5 in terms of output quality in terms of user interface d5 interface is actually relatively easy to use and you can easily learn it with just some time of dedication so i give them 8 over 10 in terms of user interface in terms of time saving d5 actually saves a lot of time it's actually fast similar to lumion because both of them they are full real-time rendering softwares which makes time saving very easy for them so i give d5 a rating of 9 over 10 in terms of time saving in terms of the price d5 is not too expensive it's relatively cheap for an average even someone from a third world country can afford the software so their software comes at um, i think 360 dollars every year subscription every year giving them a rating of 8 over 10 in terms of the price so their overall rating now is actually 83.75 percent over 100 so the rank one before I mention this rank one, I would like to just mention a few honorable mentions. This honorable mention includes Enscape. Enscape, I've seen some animations from Enscape, very realistic, pretty good. And Unreal Engine is also another good rendering software. Although I don't think Unreal Engine is um, solely like centered around architecture, but I think it's a very good option you can look into as well. The rank one will be Twin Motion. Twin Motion actually checks in all the boxes. That's why they are at rank one. In terms of output quality, of course, Twin Motion doesn't have the best um, photorealistic renders, although they have been improving. And I think they have de them too, they have also involved inculcated ray tracing in their render engine. So they have a solid 7.5 in terms of quality or output quality. In terms of user interface, their user interface is similar to Lumion. It's relatively easy to use and you can easily learn it in just a few hours. So I'll give them 8.5 in terms of user interface. In terms of time saving, just like Lumion, Twin Motion is very um, quick. You can actually execute projects and problems quickly on Twin Motion. So I'll have to give them a solid 9 over 10 in terms of time saving. In terms of the pricing, this is when Twin Motion just nailed it. Twin Motion has the cheapest pricing among all these rendering softwares at $249 to buy the software because if the thing is not to buy the software you can tell me you can put it down in the comment section but when i checked their website i didn't see any yearly subscription it stated 249 dollars to actually purchase the software which is very good astronomical compared to the other rendering softwares which makes me give them a solid 9.5 in terms of the pricing giving them a total of 86.25 percent overall so as you can see these are our five best or rather my own five best recommended visualization software for architects so if you don't agree with my takes you can drop it in the comment section if you agree and you want to add to it also drop it in the comment section and don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos thank you very much and have a nice day